So my husband bought me this little miniature dollhouse called Becca's Baking House. And I thought it might be interesting to film it just so I can have some fun and I've seen some of these videos and they're very visually interesting. I like how it's just a non-stop questions and answers like oh what is she making? Oh. Oh what is she making now? Oh. <laughs> and so this is just going to be a weird video seeing as it's not really creative or about art exactly. So don't subscribe. I probably won't do this again. So I was expecting this to feel a little bit like a Lego kit and I thought that this would make me uh, motivated to make one of my own from scratch because I kind of wanted to try one of these and I couldn't decide on any. None of them were perfect. But after making this with pieces ready to go, I don't know if I'll ever make one from scratch. <laughs> I think the thing that I really didn't like about these kits is the gluing. Gluing stuff is just not fun. They don't really tell you what kind of glue, and so it was really tricky just trying to figure out how to make things stick. I tried to use school glue whenever I could. Whenever I had to use a clear plastic, I needed something a little bit more fast drying. So I had to whip out the silicone glue, and I hate using silicone glue because of how it dries too fast in the tube. And the school glue does not stick to everything. A lot of the furniture was a bigger struggle to build than I thought. <laughs> there we go. Jeez. I have to do this. I have to do this. There. Got it. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about having to wire anything. <laughs> I never took physics in high school. Okay, we're just gonna do a quick test. Oh, hold on, I need to expose the wire here. Oh my god, it's doing! And I feel like I'm pretty decent with fine motor skills. I can usually tie really little knots and stuff, so I didn't think that I would struggle with this so much. So yeah, I think my anticipation for making this was a lot more exciting than actually making it. Holy, that's tight. <laughs> this is so hard. Get in there. Ick. Oh, I got one. I can't help but notice that I'm putting square pegs in round holes all the time. It's kind of funny. So yeah, I'm not sure. I think I wanted to make one from scratch that was like a kind of hobbit style art studio, but also kind of witchy so it would have like magical ailments to it and stuff like that. Ugh, I did it. And after doing this with all the parts that were already available and already set up for me, and struggling with that. I don't know if I was going to actually make that follow-up video where I do it from scratch. I have serious doubts, but who knows? Maybe I'll get inspiration and forget about how hard this was. Stuff just really didn't want to stick together. How the heck am I supposed to do this? Oh my god, that's so... Look at it! <laughs> oh my goodness.
The part that I was deeply looking forward to was cutting these candies or cookies or whatever they're supposed to be, but I knew cutting them with the knife into little tiny slices was going to be the most satisfying part, and it was. The stuff that I really like about these dollhouses is just handling the tiny food. There are these jars that I'm just supposed to close and put a label on, but they were empty and I thought that that was a super missed opportunity. And so I used green beads to fill up the matcha and I used a red piece of paper to make it look like there was jam inside of the jam jar. I just couldn't let that one go. It needed something inside. There were a bunch of breads and things that I'm supposed to wrap in plastic, but not only was the plastic just too thick, I didn't want to. <laughs> I wanted to be able to come back and pick up all the tiny foods and, and look at them and hold them and touch them. I'm a very tactile person. There are lots of things that I didn't actually glue down so that I could, I don't know, handle it later. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, this is a really random one-off video where I don't actually make anything creative in this video. I really thought that it would introduce to me a motivation to make one from scratch and it just didn't. Not yet, anyway. <laughs>